10 phrases people use when they secretly don't like you. It's generally easy to tell when someone likes you. They light up when you walk into a room, want to spend time with you, and share their vulnerabilities, revealing their worries, embarrassing moments, and life goals. When people genuinely care about each other, they extend respect, trust, and care, hoping those pillars of connection will be reciprocated. Yet, sometimes, our relationships aren't what they seem. Some individuals might pretend to care while secretly harboring disdain for you. They may not be honest about their feelings and string you along, using certain phrases that subtly reveal their true sentiments. In this article, we will explore 10 common phrases that people use when they secretly don't like you. By understanding these phrases, you can become more aware of toxic dynamics in your relationships and seek healthier connections. 1. I guess some people have low standards. When someone uses this phrase, it suggests they hold themselves above you and lack respect for your choices. If you share a personal disappointment, like how your boyfriend forgot your anniversary, and they respond with a remark about others' low standards, it's a thinly veiled jab. The implication is that they think you're one of those others who are beneath them. This kind of condescension shows their contempt and lack of genuine regard for your feelings. 2. I couldn't handle being in your situation. Imagine confiding in a friend about your struggles, only to hear them say, I couldn't handle being in your situation. While this phrase may appear as a compliment, it's anything but. This false praise implies that your circumstances are so unfortunate that they couldn't bear them. Instead of offering support, this comment undermines your experiences and highlights their low opinion of you. 3. That's so typical of you. When someone tells you that something you've done is, so you, it's usually a put down. They might disagree with your choices, but instead of addressing their feelings directly, they generalize your behavior in a derogatory way. This phrase reflects their lack of faith in your ability to make good decisions and reinforces their negative view of your character. 4. We can't all be perfect. You might hear this when you're sharing a mistake you made at work, like messing up a presentation. Instead of providing reassurance, the phrase highlights your failure. It conveys a sense of superiority and dismisses your feelings of inadequacy, which only serves to amplify their self-esteem at your expense. Such comments often arise from their insecurities. 5. I could never pull off that outfit. Fashion is personal, and ideally, we should wear what makes us feel good without worrying about others' opinions. Yet, when someone tells you they could never pull off your outfit, it's a thinly veiled insult designed to diminish your self-esteem. This comment, reminiscent of high school bullying, often stems from the speaker's insecurities, making it more about them than about you. 6. You've always been an individual. While being an individual should be celebrated, this phrase is often used as a weapon by those who harbor dislike. It implies that your uniqueness is somehow negative. Instead of appreciating your authenticity, they highlight it as something to be criticized. The best response to such negativity? Keep shining as your true self, allowing those who don't appreciate you to fade into the background. 7. We have different priorities. This phrase is often used to subtly insult your choices. When someone claims they have different priorities, they're often judging your values and decisions. Just because they're passionate about a cause doesn't make your career aspirations any less valid. Everyone has their own path, and as long as you're not harming others, your choices are yours to make. 8. You must not care what people think. When someone uses this phrase, they're often criticizing your confidence and choices. This comment reveals their insecurities and judgmental nature. Those who feel threatened by your authenticity may resort to this phrase as a means of control. They project their fears onto you, attempting to undermine your self-assurance. 9. I'm not judging but. This phrase is a classic example of someone pretending to be non-judgmental while doing exactly the opposite. 
it's a clear indicator of hypocrisy and often precedes a critical remark. Genuine friendships thrive on mutual respect and acceptance, while false friendships are riddled with harsh judgments. 10. I'm just really busy. When someone claims they're just so busy as a reason for avoiding time with you, it often signals that they're not interested in maintaining the relationship. Instead of being honest about their feelings, they offer this excuse to soften the blow. This phrase reflects emotional avoidance and a lack of commitment. You deserve connections with those who genuinely want to invest time and energy into your relationship. Conclusion. Recognizing these phrases can help you navigate relationships more effectively. If you notice someone frequently using these statements, it might be time to reassess your connection with them. Surround yourself with people who uplift and support you instead of those who diminish your worth. Healthy relationships are built on genuine care and respect, and you deserve nothing less. Trust your instincts and prioritize your emotional well-being by distancing yourself from those who secretly don't like you. Embrace the supportive individuals in your life who truly value you for who you are. If you enjoyed watching this video, don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below, and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end. Also make sure to check out our next highlighted video, and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.